No, Hello YouTube, Sensei the Light here, back from more Space Engineers, and today we have joining us Water Jet Lover. Blade and where are you? Water Lover. Water Lover. <laughs> yes. You can't, I can't see you, but you can see me. What? I, oh, sure, just, okay, the gravity generator is. You can't there. see me. What are you talking about? Uh, bugs. Oh, weird. Okay, Space well I can see everybody. Other. Jet Blade, what you doing? That was such a glitch. Oh, you just kind of hanging out. Well. I turned off V-Sync, and it started to bug out where you were purple, and the whole base was pink. That's weird. <laughs> that sounds very strange. Is so it sounds cool. like a graphics card, like, running out of memory on your graphics card kind of bug. Oh, I have three gigs. Of, gra of, gra of G Ram. Now you yeah. make- Now you make me jealous of my PD. My card, I just- my card has three and a half gigs. It's of my CPU RAM. and RAM that's making me lag. I have, like, a Nova GeForce 9800 GT. G4 is a what? I have a Sapphire uh, 100 GT. Right. I still got a, a GTX 295 from like six years ago. Sapphire, I, I have an AMD Radeon. Six year old graphics card. What? I'm gonna go outside and watch the fireworks. Why is there a uh, scrap metal storm going on? Uh, meteor storm. Meteor storm. Okay. I'm gonna take down the drills. You know, the uh, solar panels shouldn't be sparking unless they're in the sun. No, they spark when they're damaged. Well, I know that, but, like, speaking in a physical... I know, that ship has no power, so... To... Well, actually, no, the, ra the nuclear reactor is on. Well, I guess it's in alpha, but... Oh, the nuclear reactor damage effects? They should really damage you. Oh, I keep overgrinding these. Because... There should be a little... Hmm, that's weird, though. A little what? The inventory is full warnings aren't uh, popping up for me, so... I think they oh. changed the save screen too. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I think I might. Uh, should we disassemble? Well, we could keep them like that for a while, and then uh, figure fi figure out what we're gonna do with them. Just doing some grinding, grinding off the drills. Don't let too much stuff fall, cause you might despawn the solar panels. Though it's much better in Space Engineers the despawning mechanics. The rotary drill has been tested as a success. However, it'd be much better on a mobile platform. Hmm. This battery scary. actually will give us a lot of stuff. We should have a backup battery. On the station? Yeah. I okay. haven't checked how much rate uranium is in there for quite a while. I'll just put that in the cargo. I'm going to fix the lights here, because the lights are Which not... lights? You know all the lights that are here? You can make them a lot brighter. I know. I just never bothered. Oh, let there be light. Should I fix the med bay? <laughs> yes, fix the med bay. I, I'm going to fix the med bay. Yep. I need interplates plates just to build the, the new one. Upside down med bays. Just grind it, the med bay off and then build the new one. Well, yeah, but it grinds from top to bottom and you build yeah. from bottom to top. So I just need one interior plate just to place it down, the blueprint. Indeed. Oh, no, that steel plate skipped off of the... Uh, oh, it landed. That was awesome. So oh yeah, you know <laughs> I think you built this in upside down in uh, correspondence with the grid. Yeah, yeah, this whole grid is probably upside down. It doesn't matter. There's no there's no directionality in space. It's just it's rel relative. That's the way stations should. Well, I guess the aligning to grid is good because you can use merge blocks to uh, merge them. You can align your grids however the heck you want. Well, that's only for your ships, but. Um, the reason stations are locked is because they can't move. There's no way to combine two stations. Yeah. Well, technically, couldn't you combine two stations by using some large ships as hallways? Yeah, but as you have to convert them to ships, but... As long as they were the perfect distance apart. <laughs> With merge blocks, you mean? Yeah, like you have some stations sitting near each other and then or somewhere, and then you use uh, you take large ships with merge blocks on them and you uh, connect them together like a hallway. And uh, inventory oh. so fast. Okay, guys, I'm gonna be going mining. Okay. Okay. With your ship? Yeah. No, manually after he built that ship. What else? <laughs> oh no, I just. So what do we need? Everything. Okay. <laughs> I don't it's know. I think like, we need gold. I definitely think we need gold uh, and platinum. But uh, of course, there's gold right over there that you can get. There's gold like right behind you, like right over there. Okay. Um, I think we need gold. I think you should do an alien isolation. Let's play. That would be amazing. I don't have alien isolation. 
It is expensive. All those games yeah, are expensive. And it's very creepy. It'd People... be nice if it was multiplayer. But that would take all the fun out of it. Well, no, you, you'd have one person playing the alien and the other person playing the, uh... Oh, my friends and I were talking about that at lunch. That would be awesome. I mean, what what is largely considered to be the best Aliens game of all time was that, um... Oh, did you see IGN's review on it, which was... Basically, they were raging because it was too hard. Anyway, what was basically considered to be the best Aliens game of all time was that Alien vs. Predator game where you can play as either the Marines the Predator or the Alien, and, they were, and each each time it was a completely different playing experience. Each faction was totally different, and uh, people considered that the best one. I think that was on what, um, NES or SNES or Genesis? It was on something old. Well, it's in terms on, of game, uh, it's on uh, PlayStation. PlayStation? Too. No, no, no. It wasn't that new. Well, it has a perfect. It wasn't that new though. The one I'm talking about wasn't that new because AVGN reviewed it. Hallelujah. Oh, it it's, um, it's <laughs> Sega Saturn, there you go. Okay. But anyway, it was considered to be the best because it uh, adequately, like, accurately represented what it would be like, like, what those factions would actually be like. Um, it's too bad, I built this collect collection system down here and we never actually used it, because I didn't know that the piston was at its full extension, so we never mm. actually used it. Oh well, it doesn't matter. We could just leave it in reverse when... Technically, we like technically, hey, there. technically, we could leave it there. And um, once this gravity generator is active, but no, it'd be better just to put it on top of the platform. Or we'll build the collectors into the platform, and then he can, we'll put an ejector on his ship, and then he can just eject everything into the collector. Do we have a connector? We, I'm going to tunnel through the asteroid, build a, uh, well, conveyors are expensive. We don't have a connector, no. Conveyors well, are annoying. Is there oh, you you, um, you need to go into the console, uh, the cockpit, and make sure you share the medical room with the faction. Oh, Since oh. you're the one that placed it now. No, you could just actually hit K on the uh, little thing. No, it's shit to sh oh. share. Oh, I gotta go. Food. Pizza. Well, nah. you just share the medical room. It said to share. Okay, good. Trans Got it. Yeah. Okay, good. I found some uranium. Are you gonna be back? Yeah, I'll be back. Okay. So, what are you doing, Chef Blade? I found some uranium, so... Oh, that's nice. A big pocket. Let me check and see how much uranium we've got. Okay. Because I need Three and a half... Uh, oh, no, we've got three and a half ingots, but we've got, like, six and a half thousand uranium processing, so... No, it's, it's still good to get some uranium. Oh, okay. But well, also, uh... When we do get a lot of ores and everything, uh... I was playing, uh... That... If we could build like a mothership or something, so <laughs> we can like mo uh, put everything on our ship, the mothership, and once we run out of resources on one uh, place, we go to the next and uh, gather all resources there and keep on upgrading the ship. Hmm. Interesting idea. I need. To, I want to build a projector. Steel plates, components, large steel tubes, motors. Okay, I got. I built a projector. Now, oh, can I implement one of my ships so we can start building it or something? It has a lot of guns. I mean, a lot. Oh yeah, this doesn't have any mods. Whoops. No. Forgot about that. Well, Blueprints. can we still build uh, one of the ships that I have built? I could put a control panel on the uh, projector. No, there's much of a point to it. Uh, where is the projector to? There we go. Uh, Blueprints. Don't project anything that has mods, because you don't have any mods. No, I know that, but it's like a uh, normal ship that I got off uh, Steam Workshop. Whoever built it is such a good builder. Okay, I put a I put a control panel on the projector. <laughs> okay, that's the ship. Right, but apparently it is way too big. Yeah, I yeah, noticed, it, but it look at it. It won't fit inside here, but... No, I kind of yeah, like I it. I like it, it's kind of neat. And it has a pulse cannon as well, so it's made from normal blocks. What, you mean it's got a gravity cannon? Is that what all these mass blocks are for? Yeah. And it actually shoots a, uh, a uh, warhead. Right, well, it's glitched into the thingy now because uh, a lot. what you have to do uh, once you've projected something is you have to adjust the offsets in order to make sure that it's not glitched or anything. Because you can make the, the projection go up and down. Like right now, this projection is way too low. Um, because of it's yeah, it's all based it's based on where the the person was oriented and uh, when they um, saved it as a blueprint, so uh, you often have to mess with the uh, up and down left and right things like you'd have to you'd have to push this one up, but there's still not enough room in this um, in this uh, in this asteroid in order to actually do that. 
probably don't need this anymore. Okay. I could just leave it there. Whoa, that's way that's way too big. Oh, I just noticed how big that thing is. Okay, never There's mind. There's no point now. That thing's huge. I'm looking for something that's really small, but you know it can be a tiny mother mothership that can you know work very well for us. Well, here, I mean, I've been designing some modular ships, so maybe it'd be really cool to build those. Uh, here, although the versions. Oh yeah, here, here's one, dude. It's called the Selberus, a uh, self-repairing ship. It repairs its ship. It, it gets Doesn't destroyed. Doesn't that mean it has like lots of bearings uh, on it? Oh, why well, love this guy? Does that mean it has lots of welders on it? Or... Yes, it does. Because I know that that self-regenerating armor was something that a lot of people were talking about being able to do with uh, the grinders, I mean the welders, but uh, not something that was actually um, very practical. This thing's got like um, rotors in it with uh, and welders and sensors all over the place. Now is this a good one? Although when you that? project a ship, you have to watch out because sometimes it'll say that it can only project one grid, uh, and therefore it's only projecting one. So if, if a ship has pistons and rotors in it, anything connected to the piston or the rotor will not be projected. Okay. Oh, come on. Why are they so huge? Jeez. Yeah, it's too big. That's lag. That's lag. It's still it's too Jeez. big. This one, this one as well is too big. <sighs> Darn. I mean, you know, we'd have to, we'd have to get... I can get so bad, though. We'd have so. to get a presence outside the asteroids. We'd have to get a, um, a defense up. Hmm. Where did it go? Now, there's also a repair trailer where it actually, where you just drive over something and it'll, it'll weld it, so... I forgot whoever made that, though, so... I remember watching, um... Last time gamers once they built a vehicle that had wheels on it that they could just drive over the uh, uh, blocks they wanted to uh, weld, and it would weld because it had downward facing welders. So they did that once. Oh yeah, it's called the uh, repair trailer. You should probably turn the uh, projection off. Yeah, I'm going to hold on. Where is it? There we go. It's just a tiny little ship. Oh, in Christ, in incorrect. Grid no, you, you can't yeah. use a projector that's on a large ship to project a small ship. Darn. Can you turn off that projection? Yeah, sure. I'll just turn off the block. No, just there's a button that says turn off projection or something like that. Or just remove. Or, yeah, remove. Oh, there's nothing there, so... I'm still seeing your ship being projected. Okay, that's where I'll turn it off and then back on. Does it work now? No, it's still that. Let me, let me do it. Okay, it's glitched, I guess. No, it's not glitched, it's just still projecting. So you gotta go into the projector, and you gotta hit move, remove, and then there you go. No more well, it wouldn't let me be, yeah. Wouldn't let you, what, what? It wouldn't let me, uh, remove it. Why? I don't know. Did it say why? Did I no, it just had blanked out the word remove. Did I remember to like, share this properly? Yeah, yeah sure. I don't know, I was able to click it. Oh well, whatever. It's weird. So I think what we could do is um, we could build the uh, modular ship that I was being designing. Well, I've only currently got a uh, the back one of the one backbone piece, a passenger module, and a um, which is just decorative, and a um, cockpit. I currently don't yet have any engines or any um, reactor modules or anything. I need to start working on that some more. We do that after we're done here. It's fun, I think. But I think we should build that kitty hawk. It's kind of cool. It's got. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. Yes. Uh, space engineers crashed because. Yeah, I noticed you disconnected. It doesn't like to be left alone. I don't think. Uh, it gets lonely without you. We port card came. Straight A's. Good job. Hmm. I built a projector. Oh. <gasps> You beat me to it. A large one, not a small one. You can build the oh, small okay, one good. if you want. There should be a separate um, projector components. Projector com I think you wanted to make the projector pretty. I think you wanted to make it cheap. So that it would be easy well, to Well, like, projector components would be cheap. Like, well, maybe not projector components, but like, um, like a light, light component. That way interior lights aren't just a construction component, whatever that is. I have a um, a blueprint here for a uh, large space station 
That thing's awesome, but it's absolutely huge, and it's made completely out of heavy armor. <laughs> oh, if you want uh, to talk about a mothership that we could do, this ship would actually be great. Well, uh, are you what? Are you running them through the projector? Yeah, right now. I'm gonna probably end up building the projector just- Oh wait, we don't even have to build a landing gear. It's, um, if you use a rotor, it's- This is a cool little ship. It's, uh, well, it's not, it's not that small. It's actually kind of big. But, the uh, most annoying part about this game is whenever you log on, you have to you die. Oh man, this is a cool ship. Did you build this? No, no, no. I got this off the Steam Workshop. The ship is 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 it's nice and spacious. Although I don't know why it has so many nuclear reactors in it. It might does it have a refinery. Yeah, it's got everything. It's got it's basically a starter ship, but a much bigger one. I would keep pumping it's a little it boxy. Huh? It's a little boxy. I mean, it's not boxy, boxy, but it's yeah. Oh, hey. This ship is a total copy of mine. Huh? Well, it's not a copy, but it looks pretty much very, very close to mine. I'll, I'll show you once I get this um, projector. Going. It's got a. I've used it in a single player. It's got a lot of forward thrust because it's got four engines out the back and then a large engine out. I don't think we're gonna have enough. Uh, we don't have enough thruster <laughs> components to make this. Yeah. No. Well, we have a thousand of them, which is. That's enough for like a couple of engines. Steam client helper has stopped working. Doesn't sound good. It needs okay. mental help. It needs mental help. It needs mental help. Well, my game just crashed. I think. One thing we could do is we could build. Do we have? Do we have two assemblers? Yes. We do. But I don't. A... They're not hooked up very well because. I don't think that the system is able to properly send it resources because it's connected to the other assembler. As long as it's connected... Oh no, no it's it, connected properly, it was just stuck on gravity generator. Right, yeah, but it happens where sometimes it doesn't get the resources. I think I should put a, um, a pipe out the back here to connect it directly to the refinery as well as uh, to the other thing. Early access! Well, no, I, I, just, I don't know. I think there's there maybe something weird going on with the... Um, the way that the conveyors work, uh, because it's... That actually, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can make that into a meme where it just shows some obscure, really messed up bug, and then it says early access on the top. Just so in these videos, you can put that in. Ha. I like, um... Out of silver. Yeah, I like reading the, uh, forums for the game after an update comes out. Oh, did you see the, uh, Linux Space Pants post? That's me. Right there. We need silver. You're, you know, silver Your is name is Linux much. Space Pants? <laughs> That's the name of the bug. I've named it Linux Space Pants. What would be really, really cool that I would love to see is if you're like placing down, um, I don't know, like a a rotor, it'll suggest other blocks in the uh, toolbar config page, depending on what you're building. Like, it'll try to figure out what? Oh. Like, if you recently placed down a small ship, reactors and stuff will show up first. Hmm, interesting idea. Might submit it. I'm, I'm hoping hey, that guys. they are, um, whatever Keen is working on to replace rotors and pistons to make them better, I really hope that comes out soon. Because you know, that's what they're doing. They're not just going to fix them as they currently are. They're going to... They're going to... They're completely re a different method. I think, from what I heard, that, uh, because they don't like the way it works now, where the end of the piston rotor is a separate grid, they want to try and make it all part of the same grid, but still be movable, which would be a much better solution. But they have to, like... They actually have to rework how the V-Rage engine works in order to uh, accommodate for that. But if they rework it, they definitely should patch the um, physics, the way multiplayer works, so it's not... Because that's the reason... I mean, if they patch multiplayer, a lot of good stuff would come from it. Oh, that should have worked. Hopefully. Projector! Put down! Put down! This is... I'm gonna... No! I must figure out which way I want to place this thing. Yeah. You can't just go placing projectors all willy-nilly. Make sure you get it oriented properly with the X plus on top. Um, one computer short for some strange reason. I don't know why. Is it going to be turned the right way? The It is turned the right way. The welding GUI really doesn't make sense, though, because the way it works is... You know how it works, but yeah. it's Yeah, well, does it make weird. sense? The bar should... You could put, like every single component except for the first one, but the bar doesn't go up at all. Yeah, because you, know you I mean? can't. You have to build from the bottom. Up. But you can still place the components in. Oh, grab some uranium. I don't know. Oh, you... you need, oh, yeah. 
grab it out of the business ship. You don't need that thing on. Good idea. Do you guys oh, play, um... Oh, oh access sorry. denied. I have to grind it. Oh, I'll help you, uh, pack it. Hacking what? Did we hack? Did we hack the, uh, batteries and reactor yet? You could tell if you packed it, because... Okay, you packed it. I'm gonna hack the 19, battery. 19, uh, uranium in it. Oh, wait, I'm probably not gonna have the inventory space to hack it. Hack what? Uh, the batteries. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hack the turrets, just in case bad things happen. I'm gonna grab some, uh, uranium out of there. So what were you saying, Jetblade? What were you asking? Uh, is that, uh, do you have War Thunder? No. Oh, okay. I was wondering, sometime would you like to go ahead and do that? Nope, I do not have it. You know, when you were building those collectors, there were collectors on this thing that you could have used? Yeah, I didn't realize. I'm a dumb. Oh, great. I just found construction components and 30 detector components in that thing, so that's nice. Hey, guys. That's it. Hey, you, you don't even need the computer to get, this con to get control panels operational. All you need is the construction component. What were you saying? Oh, great. Uh, it's that, uh, who, uh, I would like to show you a shuttle that I want to show you guys. Sure. Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, sure. Let me hop over. I I'm so happy projector. I put a control panel on the projector. Well, it's just, it's Why did you, small, you didn't need to do that, you know? I know, I just wanted to. You just wanted to? Okay. I wanted that's, to. That's valid. That's totally valid. I wanted to do it. I'm gonna name the projector Bob. Bob the projector. Bob. Definitely Bob. Bob the builder. The projector. The projector. As you would probably say. Okay, this one I designed specifically that. That'll work. Oh, great. It's facing the right way, too. Beautiful. Just Why is it glitching out? Figures that I spent time building these in there and they're completely useless with that. Yeah. What? Well, uh, your so ship... Mind if I, uh, modify the, uh, mining ship? Because right now, the way these, uh, drills are oriented, they're overlapping each other in range, and it's gonna bump into a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna modify it. Modification they're, in progress. They're actually uh, in the same position as this Jet. ship over here has been. Jet blade. Yeah. You modify, uh, grind the mining ship and rebuild it over there. This ship the right island. here looks very similar to that one. Yeah, I know. It's a complete coincidence, too. But, uh, do you mind if I, you know, do the thing? I need steel plates, though. Just for. We have steel. so many of those. No, we don't. We have not enough. I had. 20,000 or some obscure number of just ridiculous. Let's see how many we have. So many. 1,300. <laughs> it's certainly not that many. You should. But is there a. F no, it's just 1, 3, and. Um, it's just 1, 3, and. Uh, 5, right? The inventory sizes? Hmm? The inventory size is just 1, 3, and 5, right? Oh, you can go up to 10 times. I size. really think my game one, two, crashed. Five, ten. You should increase the inventory, please. Why? <laughs> because realism isn't important. We're not unrealistic. We're on 3 times. Well, why not 10? Oh, ten oh, goodness. I had a complete FPS. Yeah, because some, because this, because you, someone projected this ship. Me? Oh, my sim speed just went That's through because the this ship is being projected. Well, it just like, killed me. Okay, oh my gosh. Why was that ship being projected? The game is like uh, KSP in the way it works with slow-mo. Is this a large thruster on here? No. I, I was ma meaning to project a really small ship. Well, the ship that was projected on wrong. that was huge. So, I think the way it happens is that if the projection clips through the, the asteroids, it creates a lot of lag. Okay, that seems so to be how that like, works. Why are you... Oh, wait, so, Oh what? my... God, no! No! What did you do? Oh, I am so sorry. The hoodie. I was... Oh, I didn't know it had ores in it. Oh, now there's giant mega ores everywhere. Da okay. ha ha. Manual transportation and... Wait a second, we have the collectors. I took them off. Why are you killing me? Don't kill me. I, Don't I just ground the collectors off, though. 
Besides, the clutches wouldn't now help. Ship is in peace. I, I just got killed somehow. <laughs> Somebody ground me to bits. Now this ship is in pieces. All the ore just fell through down the hole. No, they're not. They're sitting over there. Somebody Good smart. They're sitting over there. Don't worry. I'll fix yeah. this. I, I don't think any of them fall out here. Whoever touches my ship is going to be dead in the next place. <laughs> okay. I can't believe you did that happen. <laughs> that wasn't me. That was Centennial. What? No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. We have video evidence to the contrary. No, don't. Your computer will shut down now. Oh, yes. I, I think that is. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. That's exactly what's going to happen. I'm sure. Oh, no. It's intact. Okay, good. It's completely intact. It's just the worst for that. My uh, small. It's not chair. intact because the uh, the the conveyors and uh, and, uh, and and drills are floating away. I love the See, look, there's one over here. Don't touch my drill. See, it's my ship. Ah, oh, you just bumped it away. You gotta be careful. <laughs> Again, this is why wasn't I mentioning something about inventory sizes and why they're important? Well, that doesn't mean that didn't have any bearing on the fact that you cut the ship in half. I didn't. No, that well, it's not in half. I uh, the uh, apparently the the um, drill arms were connected by a single block, and you you drilled that off. Oh, that's that's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> you, I told you not to touch my. I mean, we can have a we can have a conversation about whether or not that's good design, but you were the one who did it. <laughs> Sorry, I'll fix it. Can you please put back my um, my ship back to, to where it was? Okay, I will. I'll just stick the cargo bag back on. I completely did not intend for that to happen at all. I just... Sure you did not. <laughs> so Couple of those. I like this ship. Those, I found these. this ship on the... Um, I found this cargo ship on the uh, workshop. I think it's really neat. It de it's, it, it's like a space big rig. It's cool. It's like that's a really interesting description. This is a really good ship design, though. It's like nice. Uh, that's too big of a cargo uh, cargo container. You have a big, way bigger cargo container. That's a very big cargo container. Yeah, that's the ones over here. That's the big cargo containers. This one's here. Can you please get rid of that? I want to build this. It's gonna be cool. He's away, I think. Yeah, he's away. Dude, I said that's way too big of a cargo container. Steel plates. You there? I think he's away. What? Way too, he's welding. <laughs> thing. He's like, what, absentee welding? Yeah, he's, wel he's welding, but he what's up with him? What's going on with him? I don't know. Your ship is spazzing out like crazy for me. I know, it's because landing gears are funky. Well, you take away the landing gear, so, you know. Sir! The neighbor came back. I said that's too you. big of a landing gear. I mean, dude, I said that's too big. Okay, I fixed your container. It's back. I said it's the smallest one. What happened? You, can you please listen? Who, who are you talking to? He's talking to you. You. Okay. What you, one? Yeah, big, the biggest one. I need the smallest one. That's the... Oh, I did put the biggest one. Well, the smallest one is very small. The smallest one is a one by You're gonna one want to use the medium one. I missed. No, nope, I, I had a small one. No, no you, you didn't. Had you had a medium one. Don't lie to me. Because the small one is a single block, and it has, like, no storage capacity at all. That's not the one you had. Uh, what? 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 Okay, that is correct. That is correct. Okay. Oh, never mind. Wait, yeah, you just have a one block placed off. Uh, okay. See, this is why this game needs to be 3D. What? It is. <laughs> well, like 3D, 3D, not 2D, 3D. What like are you talking 3D. about? Like 3D, yes, 3D. Not what? You are crazy. Why do you want it to be projected? Why do you want it to be true 3D? Because like a hologram. Like that way you don't misplace blocks. What? Do you want to play this in the Oculus Rift? Oh man, that would be great, actually. Okay. And then where the drills go? Where'd they go? 
Where did the drills go? Did you collect the drills? Yes, I did. Okay, good. I'm sorry. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. just gonna change that shit first. Uh, I'm, I need to show you guys something here I'm first. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Truly. I'm so sorry. Oh man, I was gonna use that to make my ship. Oh well. <laughs> I got to oh, it first. Oh, I know. Oh, that's a large ship. Mm. I'm gonna make a rotor projector thing. I'm gonna need a large rotor and a small rotor. It's kind of complicated, but yeah. What's well, complicated? I saw this in a video by I don't even remember who, but I think it was Sage. I like Sage. Okay, uh, Sage I'm gonna Sage. project a really small ship that I want to show you guys something. Wait, um, how the, big? Uh, on. What do I have to build to get these gyroscopes to drop to weld? Oh, that uh, this small ship is 150, uh, 1,500 blocks. You want to be, these are, it's small blocks. You want to weld these gyroscopes, but if I don't weld them soon, I won't be able to get to them to weld them. Ah, oh, that is the merge block. But the merge lock exists, which okay, means it would let me... Hopefully it won't be going through the ground. Okay, there we go. What is the this merge is the ship I want to show you guys. should let me do it. I'm gonna build an adapter for, um... Guys. What? Uh, this well, is the me... ship I want to show you guys right here. Oh. This ship. On the projector, or where? Uh, my projector that I built. The big one? Yeah. Do you see it? Oh, that's... It's like a dropship. Yeah, it's a passenger shut shuttle. It has two cockpits, so yeah. Right, where? It's a real, oh. The, the giant see. orange thing that's... Oh, that, that looks very similar to the large passenger shuttle that I projected earlier. I think it's maybe the same guy, right? Yeah, that was cool. Why is there... Well, I'm gonna be uh, making this, so I need to put it away from yours, so hold um, on. You can use I the think... offset... Uh, yeah. I oh, I didn't know that was. Project it again, and I'll um, to, set to up move the projector with projection. Yep. I gotta figure out what these gyroscopes are connected to, so that I can... jet, jet, just project it again, and I'll offset. Okay, it's set. No, I, I did. Hold on, I'm doing it. Uh, horizontal. Whoops. This is now. You should Vertical. name this like the fake city or some other projection-related name. What? <laughs> yeah. No one the virtual world. Okay, is that a good, or is it? It's almost touching yours, so I have the to. The ship make... is a lie. Oh, oh this, yeah. <laughs> that's the end. Yeah, that's the end. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and the first appearance of Water Lover. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, we had a bit of a catastrophe, but I think we're coming. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be good. Yeah, but the catastrophe is good because it provides comic relief to the viewers. So, anyway, we'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing off.